Hey, what's up? Live Bolt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2020 indie film, The Paper Tigers. So this is pretty interesting. I, I, I looked into it. Um, it was pitched around different major production companies in LA and they wanted to whitewash the entire cast, but the director, writer, producer did not want to do that. So he kickstarted the film, raised a bunch of money to actually film the film. And it's incredible. It's It doesn't seem like an indie film at all. So I'm very impressed with it. It's about these three guys. Uh, they're, they're middle-aged. They used to be, you know, Gung Fu masters, not masters, but they uh, they had a Sifu master and they were his disciples and they were training for quite some time. Then they fell out of contact with each other as they got older and now they're, you know, washed up middle aged guys. But like, it's a matter of, you know, why are they coming together? So their Sifu was killed and it's it's trying to figure out who did it. And then they eventually figure out who did it. And then it's trying to, you know, not bring him to justice cop wise, but like battle him out to see who's the better disciple um it was good like I, di I didn't know that gung fu is the pronunciation within cantonese chinese versus kung fu which is how we say it here in the states it is uh it's very cool it was very it started in the 80s and there was the 90s and then there was modern times and i really liked it it was really good it was fun it was it was a good you know honor kind of film uh yeah go check it out paper tigers it's on netflix which mahalo